3D. I'm a 3D forensic analyst, which means that I use 3D technologies to document, analyze, and visualize crime scenes and accident scenes. Photogrammetry, if you think about it in terms of age, and you think of some of the more modern you know, forensic methods or techniques, photogrammetry is actually quite old. And so it stems from about 1850. And in fact, when the first camera was invented, uh, about 1850 or so, there was a gentleman called Aimé Locedat, and he's sort of referred to as the grandfather of photogrammetry. And what he did was he took the big cameras from back then and then he put them on hot air balloons and he photographed cities and terrain and was able to take the plates after and by, you know, drawing lines and things like that was able to extract information. A lot more difficult, uh, as you can imagine, than, you know, doing it with what we have today. So the term photogrammetry itself is really made up of three uh, root words and photos meaning light, gramma meaning to draw, and then metron meaning to measure. So a light drawing is nothing but a photograph and then measurement. So what we have is measurement from a photograph. That's really at the heart of photogrammetry.